Hey, hey, it's December. Welcome to December 1st. Thanks for taking a minute to check out this video. I'm going to take just a few minutes to give you an overview of some things that you need to know for the month of December. First, I want to start, and I want to thank everybody who came out last night to help decorate the church for Christmas. It's looking very festive around here, and uh, I'm excited to get started with our Christmas services tonight. Okay, first thing you need to know is that tomorrow night is worship night. It's our Christmas worship night. It's going to be in the worship center. Just make note of that. I know in a previous video we talked about uh, the fact that the worship night would be in the chapel, but it's not. It's tomorrow night, 6 o'clock p.m. Come to the worship center. Come ready to engage, ready to worship. This is one of the ways that you can lead. Even if you're not on worship night, you can still come. You can sing and you can just be a leader by being there and singing and engaging. So come be a part of it. We're going to sing a lot of Christmas music, a lot of the music we're going to be doing in our services through the month of December. It's going to be a great night. Second thing you need to know for this month is it's time to put in some blockout dates, both for the band and for the production team. Now, if you're a member of the band, go ahead and put in your blockout dates for January and February. We'll be putting those schedules together pretty quickly now so that we can have everything in place uh, as we go through vacations at the end of the year and, and days off and holidays and everything like that. So make sure you're putting that in as soon as possible and we'll get things put in planning center. Uh, and updated for you. If you're a member of the production team, you need to put in your block out dates January through April, and your team leaders will be working on those schedules for you. You have until December 15th to look through your schedules and put in everything that you have January through April. Now, I know that that's a big time frame, and I know that things come up along the way, and that's okay. Do me a favor. As things come up in your schedule, just hop into Planning Center and put them in as block out dates. If you have to go out of town for work and, you know, you didn't know that in December and it's March, just go in, put in a block out date, and that uh, that lets us know what's going on. I do this all the time, actually, for my own personal schedule because I, believe it or not, get scheduled by other team leaders for other teams. And so if I know that I've got an out of town trip or if I've got a vacation coming up or something changes with my schedule last minute, I'll hop into Planning Center and uh, as best as I can, try to keep my block out dates updated. This just helps your team leaders. Some of you are on teams that have a very complicated setup. There, You may be serving with people who they want to serve every single weekend or they want to serve every other weekend. And you may be serving with people whose availability is only every four to six weeks. And as your team leaders are putting those schedules together, they're trying to balance everything out so that the person who wants to serve every four to six weeks doesn't get scheduled every two weeks or doesn't get scheduled only every 10 weeks. And they have to balance that with people who want to serve every two weeks or every weekend. So it gets very complex really quickly. And you having accurate blackout dates really helps us. If your team leaders put a schedule together and they send it out and then suddenly they get back two or three blackout dates, now they have to go in and rearrange people and, and basically do parts of the schedule again. It serves your team leaders well as they serve you well by putting the um, the schedule together. Please take a moment, put in your block out dates and all will be well with that part of the world. Finally, I wanna remind you about our rehearsals in the month of December and I also wanna remind you about Christmas Eve and what's gonna happen there. First of all, our rehearsals. There are two Wednesday nights that are going to be different in our schedule. The first one is December 19th. We will still have a midweek rehearsal that night but it won't be for the services on the 22nd and the 23rd. That'll be a rehearsal for Christmas Eve. So if you're on the Christmas Eve schedule, make sure you've got December 19th on your schedule. If you're serving the 22nd and 23rd, we'll do a same band all weekend set up with our band. The next rehearsal that's affected is December 26th. Being that that's the day after Christmas and everyone's traveling, and a lot of you will have that off as a vacation day anyway, we're just going to do no rehearsal that evening and then we'll do same band all weekend the 30th and the 31st. For Christmas Eve, I want as many of you as possible to come and be a part of the service. Some of you are serving in the service and will actually be either playing an instrument or serving with the uh, with the production team behind the scenes. But if you're not, choose a service and come be a part of it. It's going to be a great afternoon and evening uh, just celebrating the birth of Christ, celebrating the, the incarnation of God. Service times for that service will be 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. So select a service time that works best for you and come out. Again, if you're serving in that service, our rehearsals are going to be uh, Wednesday, December 19th, 6.30 to 8 o'clock, just our normal time, and also 12.30 to 1.30 p.m.